revenue. In this presentation, we're going to look at what the term revenue actually means, and you should be able to identify some sources of revenue for a business. Let's start with the basics. What does the term revenue mean? Well, revenue is really simple. It means all of the money that is going into a business. Revenue is the opposite of a cost. So this is all of the money that goes into a business. So what do we actually mean by that term? Well, quite simply, this is all the money that a business will receive. Now, the best way to look at this is let's have an example. And in this example, we're going to use the local leisure center. Now, what I'd like you to do is get a pen and paper or find a document on the computer. Pause the video in a minute while you're going to list all the different sources of revenue that you think the local leisure center will have. So where will it get all its money coming in from? So I'm going to ask you for the sources. So where will it come from? Pause the video now while you do that task. OK, these are some of the possible answers you may have thought of. So possible sources of revenue for a leisure center could be hiring out the sports hall, for example. It could be charging people to go swimming. It could be charging members to use a gym. It could actually be selling physical memberships of the leisure center. So you pay a certain amount of money each month to join the leisure center and you get access to all those facilities. It could be sales from the shop the Leisure Centre has, so selling goggles, selling the uh, swimming caps, selling some of the sports equipment like your ping pong balls or maybe your squash balls or your tennis rackets, for example. Or it could be even the sales that they make from the vending machines. Now, what you will notice is that I've categorised all of those sources into one category, which I've called sales revenue. Now, that is the most common form of revenue for most businesses, and sales revenue is exactly what it says it's money that comes from selling of your product. So sales revenue is the most common source of revenue. And of course, how you achieve that sales revenue could be broken up into smaller chunks like I've done there. There are, though, some other possible sources of revenue. Now, these are more complex, but you could possibly have them. For example, the leisure center could possibly rent out some spare space that it's got to a local fitness instructor to use. So he might put all his equipment in there and pay £50 a week in rent. So rent would be another source of revenue, possibly. They could put their spare money that they've got in the bank into a savings account and it would earn interest. Because it earns interest, the interest is a source of revenue because it's a payment towards the business. So it's money coming into the lay centre. Um, quite possibly, if they've got even more cash knocking around, they could possibly invest the money they've got. So they could buy some shares in some other companies, maybe some other fitness companies. By investing that money, they get paid a dividend, which is a return on their investment. And that is a form of revenue. It's money coming into the leisure centre. So those are other sources of revenue that go alongside your sales revenue. But typically, just think of sources of revenue as what sources of sales revenue can you have. That's the most common source of revenue you'll find in most businesses. Okay, a quick recap. So you should now be able to define that term revenue, and you should now be able to give some examples of the different types of revenue or sources of revenue that exist in a business. If you can't do that, pause the video, go back, think about it, and maybe even think of some examples yourself and jot the answers down and share them with the teacher. However, really important, make sure you understand that the sources of revenue can differ depending on which organization you look at. So I've looked at a, a leisure center, for example, there. If you were to replicate and look at maybe a cake shop that we used in another previous example, or even a florist, then the sources of revenue are going to change based on what that organization does. Remember, you want to apply your answer to show that you've got more than just knowledge as one of those skills. Thanks for checking out the Bee Business Bee YouTube channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at B Business B. Also, give the Facebook page a like. It's facebook.com forward slash B Business B. And lastly, don't forget to check out the online hiver activities found on bbusinessb.co.uk full of quizzes, activities and resources. And remember, until next time, keep buzzing.